happening, gang? It's your boy Retro back again with another reaction video. Yeah, yeah. Today we got another huge update, guys. We're coming on that New York hush money trial of Donald Trump's, guys. And things are starting to hit the fans. We're now seeing, you know, outrage coming from the left. Um, figures of the left now speaking out. Um, against Judge Murchon and that corrupt district attorney Alvin Bragg um, and what they've been trying to do to Donald Trump you know it's clearly not right and they have to speak out people are not able to you know sit by and let this happen for much longer we're getting you know outrage not only from the right now but we're getting from the left I'm excited to get into this clip and see exactly what's going on who's making the noise we're gonna get straight into the clip and I'll get my thoughts on the back end of the video guys so definitely stick around to the end so guys get my thoughts on the back end and also YouTube push this video out definitely stick around until the end you guys but yeah, let's get straight into it we're gonna do that though make sure you guys hit that like button for me and also hit that subscribe button guys we're on the road to the truth hop aboard for the journey let's get into it y'all Trump's New York trial continues well, I'm gonna prove to you why this whole thing is a scam many times using Democrats own words like Geraldo Rivera who has a Geraldo 2.0 experience turning against his anti-Trump ways and now re-embracing his friend. Welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenapel. This is where the Happy Patriots are, making the case for Trump's innocence in New York all day, all night. And this is easy. I can do this in my sleep. Watch. I think it's pretty extraordinary for, in the very first jury pool, before you interview anybody, half of the jury pool already says they're so biased against President Trump that they can't serve on the jury. That's just the normal population of New York. Over half have dismissed themselves saying, I can't see past my hatred of the guy. That's my first case. I hope you guys have subscribed. If you like this stuff, let's go. Here's Donald Russo, one of the guys I kind of dig on Twitter or on X. Trump got 14.5% of the vote in Alvin Bragg's district in 2020. So we're trying to get 14% of that district to be on the jury pool. So if they get 500 people to choose from, they should be able to find 12, maybe, or six, you know, that ought to be enough to find one, maybe two jurors who will hang the jury. Good voir dire. Oh, that word, I can't even say. And jury selection is the key. The Trump jurors can even vote for a misdemeanor, not a felony. See Glover rule. Now, I am not for the misdemeanor uh, 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 for Trump to accept that at all. I think you should fight this and not give him that. I don't want the Trump, the president to have a misdemeanor on his record either. But the main thing is that it only takes one or two to hang this jury and then Trump is off. They need to get them all in there. Now, here's uh, the margin was still wide, though, with Trump winning 61.6 percent of the staten island vote to biden's 37 percent so there trump was getting uh, a slightly better number which is why they wanted to move it to stanton island but the judge said no biden won manhattan by 84 percent to 14 percent the bronx 82 percent to 17 percent brooklyn 74 percent to 25 percent and the Queens from 69% to 30%, while Biden improved on Clinton's margin. So Trump is, you know, if he's winning like worst case in Manhattan, 14%. You got to try to get just one or two jurors to hang that jury and say, we will not vote guilty for Trump uh, on, uh, on that Judge Mershon court. This is what we call voir dire, where the lawyers and the judges ask questions of the potential jurors to ferret out any bias. Before we even get to do that, half the jury poll already says they're fully biased. That's only going to feed into, I think, Donald Trump's claim that the public integrity of the courts and the prosecutors is to be questioned as being biased and unfair against them. Yeah, this should absolutely have been moved to a different jurisdiction. And they'll probably get it. It'll probably get appealed. Trump's going to be found guilty, let's say, and they'll appeal it. They'll go, look, you knew you should have moved it. You knew it. Here's Donald Trump's posts on Truth Social. He is reposting Geraldo Rivera. Why is Trump posting Geraldo Rivera, his one-time friend who stabbed Trump in the back and said, I can't go with any of this election stuff because Trump is such a criminal. Geraldo Rivera is now defending Donald Trump. Ladies and gentlemen, another huge win. 
Pearl River, like New York Attorney General Letitia James, New York County District Attorney Alvin Bragg is an elected Democrat who openly campaigned that he was going to get Donald Trump. Guys, Alan Dershowitz left the Democrat Party just this week. He said, I'm not a Democrat anymore. I quit. Uh, back to Geraldo. This lawfare is undignified. Indeed, un-American. If I represented Trump, I would file a bar complaint for political activists to stoop to this level to make garbage precedent about the first criminal prosecution of a former president is shameful. Targeted persecution should not be part of our criminal justice system. This isn't justice. This is politics. Oh, Geraldo Rivera 2.0. He spent, took a little time off from Fox News and they fixed him. But I went and checked his Twitter feed and here's what the fans are saying about him. I'm a liberal and don't even know it. By the way, I'm an idiot. <laughs> here's Greg Price on Twitter. In 2022, Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg reduced 52% of all felony charges to a misdemeanor. And so he's, redu he's known for uh, reducing felonies to misdemeanor for thugs that go around, you know, throwing people on train tracks and gang violence. In 2023, he then elevated a misdemeanor to a felony that both the Department of Justice and his predecessor refused to go after so he could indict the Republican nominee for president. Today, Donald Trump will be in court because America is currently making Putin's Russia Look like a free country. Thank you, Democrats. You're earning your reputation every second. But I got more. A lot of things having to do with this trial, including the DA, because you go right outside and people are being mugged and killed all day long. And he's sitting here all day with about 10 or 12 prosecutors over nothing. Yeah, the New Yorkers themselves know people are outside being mugged. And this is what Alvin Bragg is doing with his time. Get Trump. Here's a tweet or a, a meme about Mershon. This dirty judge put a gag on Trump so he can't talk about his corrupt family. But I can, we can on this show too. Spread the link around while we're at it. Get this word out. Trump has a gag order. We don't. His daughter has been paid $4 million by Adam Schiff. His daughter gets donations from her social posts showing Trump in prison. His wife works with Letitia James. Here's the great Robert Barnes on the Viva Fry show. That his family is making money off this pro this rogue criminal prosecution. Just like Fannie Willis, the judge in New York, family is pocketing money off of the prosecution of Trump. That is not just partisan corruption, not just moral corruption. That is literal corruption. <laughs> I love that. Oh, and it's not just Judge Mershon that is in little corruption. Here's a, a meme of uh, Alvin Bragg, net worth $42 million. His net worth was has grown 300% in the last, past five years. Hmm, same with Fonnie Willis, same with Letitia James. Why are they all getting rich? Where's the money coming from, everybody? He owns 12 properties, eight cars, three luxury yachts, how did D.A. Bragg become so wealthy? Here's Robert Barnes. What is the judge's reaction? Not, hey, maybe I should disqualify myself. No, Gang. it's Trump. You better shut up and not tell anybody about it, or I'm going to put you in prison even before we go through trial. What a dirty, dirty anti-family. They want to punish Trump. That's, um... Amazing things happen today. As you know, my son has graduated from high school and it looks like the judge will not let me go to the graduation of my son who's worked very, very hard. Uh, he's a great student. He's very proud of the fact that he did so well. And I was looking forward for years to have a graduation with his mother and father there. And it looks like the judge isn't going to allow me to escape this scam. He's cruel for not letting Trump go to his son's graduation. Donald Russo over on X platform says, as noted by Judge Gary C. Hobbs at the end of his decision, quote, nothing 
And CPL 182.2.20 prohibits a defendant from requesting and consenting to appear virtually at a hearing. That's right. Trump could be on video at this hearing and be able to go to his son's graduation, but they did not offer it to him. They did will not let him do it. Instead, Mershon threatened that Trump, you'll go to prison if you don't show up and get off that campaign trail. We have to keep you from winning. Uh, that I can't go to my son's graduation or that I can't go to the United States Supreme Court, that I'm not in Georgia or Florida or North Carolina campaigning like I should be. It's perfect for the radical left Democrats. That's exactly what they want. This is about election interference. That's all it's about. Thank you very much. And I just had to fit that in because that's Trump still campaigning, underlining all of the bullet points and the news just put it on the air for him. So he's campaigning without campaigning. Here's Molly Hemingway, the great one on X. Excellent point from uh, Steve Turley here. Uh, when DNC Hillary Clinton lied about the 2016 cam fun campaign funding of the Steele dossier, there was no cr criminal charges or media calls for accountability. We're just going to compare how the law is lowered for these criminal Democrats and for a Republican. Trump, uh, Trump farted. He needs the death penalty. But the Trump NDA gets charged? Rule of law destroyed from the New York Post. And here's Jonathan Turley, never Trumper. Boy, talk about a born again experience. Watch this guy defend Trump. In this case, you're taking this misdemeanor, reviving it because it was dead, suggesting a crime that doesn't exist, and then hitting Trump with dozens of counts. Most citizens, at least outside New York, see that for what it is. It's the weaponization of the criminal justice system. Yeah, New Yorkers can't see it for what it is as a weaponization of the criminal justice system because it's mostly Democrats, mostly psychos, mostly weirdos, mostly mental slaves to the state. Now, there's still free patriots there in New York. New York is one of my biggest conservative audience that watch this show. So my patriots are out there. I don't know if you want to give up on New York. I'm not saying move out, but I'm saying because we always want a patriot to fight. You have to be in the game to fight. You have to be in New York to fight, to win, to advocate for the truth. So I, I, I don't I like the idea of staying in the fight. The impact of these trials is going to be the same impact from the indictments. People are going to look at this. They're going to say, why are the Democrats and Joe Biden and these crazy DAs wasting our time with these stupid trials? Why are the media networks fawning over this coverage left and right while the country is a mess, inflation has skyrocketed, and the world is on, on fire? That's Byron Donalds. He could still be working. I think he's still working the vice president angle. But of course, he's telling the truth on this. On this, this is the kind of guy... That you know, my I know my audience already. You guys have weighed in. The Byron Donalds is probably the favorite vice president pick of this audience. Joe Biden is the one who is the master of disaster. Joe Biden is the one who has led America to its weakest point in more than 40 years. And for you guys to want to focus on Donald Trump as if he's the problem, that is ridiculous because when he was president, America was significantly better off. It's going to backfire this November. And that's the good news we're going to end on. It's going to backfire this November. Man, Byron Donalds, what a great vice president pick he would be, huh? I'd love to see him president 2028. I'd feel a lot better than we do right now, right? Uh, let me know what you guys think. Is Trump going to get a, is he going to still get locked in the clank on this one or fined over this fraud trial? Or do they get one juror to flip, hang the jury? and let him off the hook. Yo, there we have it, guys. Coming from our friend Doug in XL. I'll definitely be sure to leave that original video link down in the description box below. For those of you who want to go over there and check that out, also you guys to go over there and show our friend Doug a bit of love. Oh my goodness, guys. It's happening once again. We're seeing this, you know, charade case in New York once again, you know, chalking up to another big campaign effort from Donald Trump. You know, we're getting, you know, figures from the left. You know, we've got Geraldo Rivera coming out and say, this is, you know, blatant targeted persecution. This is not justice 
this, guys. Um, and you know it's bad. And, you know, Donald Trump's ex-friend, those on the left, are, you know, starting to say that this thing stinks just like what happened with Letitia James and that corrupt judge Arthur Ingram. And this is the exact reason why we're seeing, you know, Donald Trump's legal team trying to get this case, you know, switch to a different jurisdiction, move to a different courts because they already know, you know, um, Alvin Bragg's district is so biased, so against Donald Trump. Their politics stands in the way of them making, you know, a clear decision and being impartial. That's why they're having so much trouble with the jury selection guys because over half the people in the district are you know biased against Donald Trump to the point where they cannot make an impartial decision but this whole thing is aiding in Donald Trump's favor once again guys another one of these political witch hunts um and charade cases that is you know bringing about you know mass media coverage um and, and you know viewership from those who would never look away of Donald Trump you know try to see what's going on with him but with the amount of cases you know in the headlines and mass media coverage that Donald Trump is getting for free guys um you know all these people are starting to look and try to figure out what's going on diving deep into the case and once they look at the case and very surface level information you know you don't need much on the case you just look at the very basics of it you'll start to see that this whole thing is political this is nowhere near you know them trying to serve justice um you know try to right or wrong that donald trump has committed this is more so them trying to you know interfere with the 2024 election you know and bring down presidential candidate i mean come on now guys the facts are there all these you know justices and these figures within these cases brought about against donald trump are you know aiding to enrich themselves um and bring down that political opponent with judge Merchan, you know and his family enriching themselves through the democratic party you know between his wife working with you know Letitia james and his daughter being democratic funded then we've got that corrupt district attorney alvin bragg who has tripled his net worth you know it's time being a district attorney guys and we're trying to figure out where all this money is coming from where all these justices um and these entities you know are coming about all this money it doesn't take much to realize that you know these justices are enriching themselves through these you know um, political offices where we're seeing all these district attorneys attorney generals you know uh special counsels coming after you know um, their political opponents or folks that they have personal interest within their case, you know, in order to, you know, bring about and in turn, these figures are able to, you know, enrich themselves um, and bring down their opponents through their offices, not, you know, aiding in justice whatsoever. We're even hearing that, you know, District Attorney Alvin Bragg has been, you know, lessening um, felony charges over these years as a district attorney, you know felony to a misdemeanor and then in donald trump's case you know he is bringing those misdemeanors up um reviving this frankenstein case which further proves <clears throat> this to be you know a political witch hunt this case was you know a misdemeanor dead in the water next thing you know we got da alvin brack was campaigned on you know bringing down donald trump just like leticia james coming out of nowhere and saying that you know this is being upgraded from misdemeanor now to a felony and you know donald trump will have to stand trial in this case i mean come on guys the signs are all there and now the left is coming out you know outraged about what's going on with donald trump over in new york the state of new york just won't let this guy go they've got a vice grip on donald trump you know trying to bring down his you know election efforts and trying to make it so that it's virtually impossible you know for donald trump to make it to that seat of you know president later on this year unscathed without a stain on him definitely hop in the comment section guys let me know your thoughts on this one we're seeing geraldo Rivera coming out, you know, speaking out against his persecution against Donald Trump. A lot of figures on the left are now starting to wake up and speak up, you know, using their platform and their voice to get the truth out there. We're seeing, you know, Alan Dershowitz hopping from the left to the right. I mean, come on, guys. The signs are all there. Definitely hop in the comment section, guys. And let me know your thoughts. Also, make sure you guys hit that share button and share this out to as many Facebook friends as possible. Guys, share the truth. Also, make sure you guys hit that like button. It doesn't cost a thing. Hit that like button for your boy. And also hit that subscribe button, guys. We're on the road to the truth. Hop aboard for the journey. I'll catch you guys on the next one. We.